name? Friends and neighbors? Or shall I say this afternoon? Welcome back to the political process here on the channel. I'm your host, longtime listener. Be sure to drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and comment below. Uh, it is week one of 2032. We are a house. Uh, we are in the House of Representatives, representing the Democratic Party uh, in the 17th district from Pennsylvania. Um, there are some new laws going into effect this year. That it's weird that the state minimum wage can be lower than the federal minimum wage but apparently that's doable. I'm not sure if that's accurate, but I guess maybe it is. Um, be, you know, laws at the state level don't obviously have to match the federal level, but I thought that one like that would go across the board, but not a big deal. So we should not need to do, it's been a while since I've been able to play. I've been super duper busy with work. Um, where like it's going to be hard for me to keep up like this episode is, is getting posted today um so it's hard for me to keep up lately with how much i have going on with work because i'm essentially doing two jobs but let's get into it here i don't think there's a whole lot that i'm going to need to do now it does say i have unfilled protege slots so i've got one there that we can fill and i'm wondering if somebody just bailed uh this person is on the city council that person is on the school board. So let's select a protege for the House of Representatives. And let's go second district. So they're pretty likely to actually let's go third district. Very likely to win. Uh, and we'll say Craig Reynolds. It, it I don't think it really matters until you get in here and then look at them like Craig is a civil engineer and has been for 27 years so he's got like zero experience in politics but like i'm not sure that these matter too much in game and obviously this sort of like blind way in which you're choosing these people is not very realistic um you know you would think that like if i'm gonna pick somebody to be sort of a, a mentor or whatever or a, pro, or a, a mentee or a protege i want somebody who's got the chops to like get into politics i don't know that i would have been going after a where was the one Pro, well parole officer not really uh civil engineer probably not either but whatever all right, so I think we're ready to start just kind of moving along because we're not running for a campaign or anything this year, are we? Oh, yeah, we do. So we need to run for re-election. So we will say continue. Do we want to run for re-election? And we're going to say yes. Mackenzie, we're going to stick with you for now. She's getting up there in age to where I don't know how much longer she's going to do this, but whatevs. All right. So, same priorities as usual, I guess, which is keep working on the um, income level. We're going to continue to try and reduce crime. And what was the other one that we were working on? Infrastructure. We want to code quality is 100 percent okay so let's i guess work on congestion so that's that now i don't know if there's anybody that i need to endorse doesn't look like it we might not be to that point yet but you see here we've got six million in campaign funds and when i go into like marketing we're going to say automate marketing i don't think i need to spend quite this much we're going to cut that in half and we're going to go general economy general just keep it pretty simple i don't think i need to do a whole lot to win here because i'm the incumbent if it gets a little bit aggressive then maybe we uh adjust this strategy but things are going well I feel like I'm pretty well liked. 
Um, there are no Democrats running against me. And, like, here's Clayton. Can I? Okay, I can't see a whole lot more about them, but they, they have no donations or whatever. And I think that that's probably, you know, th th I don't know if that means that they are brand new to politics and just don't have any war chest and are kind of starting from scratch or what the deal is. But let's, uh, let's burn through one week. In fact, actually, let's go to events and we're going to do one interview. My Amazon Echo is apparently interpreting something that I said as a question and she's like reading off an answer like here's what I found <laughs> okay all right <clears throat> so we raised seven thousand bucks we spent some money on marketing let's go ahead and keep doing interviews just for a little bit and then we'll go do a poll just to see voter intention boom and so, like, this is not showing outside of the party. I don't even, I, I didn't really need to do that, but obviously it looks like old Clayton here is gonna win. So it's gonna be me versus Clayton. Now, considering there's no one running against me in the primary, there's not a whole lot that I need to do. I didn't vote on the, let's do this. I screwed up. Let's go back, load this up again. And, all right, so we go to the office. We need to pick a protege. House of Representatives. This one. Oh, man. Guy's not there. But let's pick Norbert. <laughs> Norbert was an Air Force vet. That's what I'm talking about. 32 years in the Air Force. And now he's going to run for house. I mean, that is like your all-American hero right there, baby. All right, so we don't need to do anything else right now. In this first week, we do need to say that we are going to run for re-election. Mackenzie, yes. Do these again. Dang it. <laughs> uh, per capita income. Crime. Total crime. And infrastructure. Boom. All right, so that was that. We got to go set a marketing budget. Set it for 5000 Ugh, sorry that we're having to do this again, but I missed the thing where I had to vote on the budget or whatever. And I don't think it matters that much, but we're going to go back and do it just to make sure. Boom. All right. So hit continue. Marketing is ready to go. Events. We're going to do one interview. And now what I want to do is go to... I want to go to politicians and what I want to look at, like we still have for now a Democratic president. I can't remember. Is she about to leave office? It's been too long since I've played. So we don't hold the House yet and we don't hold the Senate either. So it's still not a situation where there's going to be a whole lot that I can do. Here's the budget that they have approved. They're actually increasing spending year over or revenue year over year. So they are raising taxes, but they're doing it. Where are they doing it? Increase Medicare payroll taxes and Social Security payroll taxes. So they're basically taking from people who don't necessarily need to have money taken from them. So I don't like that. Basically, let's just, you know, reduce income taxes, which people see and they're like, oh, yeah, that's awesome. But then what they don't necessarily pay attention to is other taxes going up. And these are the ones that could sting that middle class or even lower class. I'm not a big fan of this one. But the bottom line is they are increasing ta like revenue and then... So this is what they plan to spend, 4155. So we're actually running at a surplus. I guess I'm okay with that. Uh, but bottom line is, I don't like the way they're doing this. So I'm actually going to oppose this. Yeah. So we were kind of on the right path there. 
So now we can advance. Boom. And when we go to a campaign, um, again, like we know that there's no, well, see, this is different. Clayton is running unopposed now and Tony Fiore is running as an independent. So basically the primary is going to be a waste of time. We don't really even need to be donate or uh, running a uh, campaign at the moment, but it's okay. We're like, if anything, we're increasing this overall number and that's fine. Voter or uh, name recognition is really solid. And then voter enthusiasm is pretty good. Um, and then even here, like on policies, we're doing okay across the board, except for military, which I don't understand. So whatevs. All right, let's uh, burn through a little bit of this. So this is debate topic. Wait, I don't really need to see this. This is a Republican debate or whatevs. I just clicked on the wrong button. So we don't need to do the Democratic primary debate either. Is there anything I need to be doing campaign wise like we let's do another interview just to kind of stay in front of people so but like there are no um like usually if you go here there might be like campaigns that other politicians want you to help them with we're not seeing any of that so we're good but like we can advance here vote on budget resolution conference report let's take a look at this so they are still wanting to increase revenue like I don't think this changed a whole lot so the bottom line is I don't support this idea we're going to oppose now all Democrats are opposed but all Republicans are in favor shocker um, let's just go here and make sure there's nothing I need to be aware of Good. <clears throat> Primaries. Debates. Okay, so here we have a floor debate. Let's just check the campaign and make sure there's nothing going on. In fact, let's go ahead and do another interview in Allegheny County. And now let's go back to the office. Because we don't need to do this, but we do need to hear this floor debate about public housing. You see our leader here is going to want us to oppose, which probably means they're trying to reduce access yeah they're trying to make it harder for people to get public housing and they're reducing it from 15 percent of the poverty level to 12.8 like i am going to be opposed to this so i think that's pretty straightforward when you go democrat versus republican that's pretty much the way those chips are going to fall yeah you can make amendments but they want you to oppose same thing there amendment hearing i'm not even gonna bother i'm gonna just say no i don't want to create an amendment i just want it to go the way it is and then vote against it I... see now this lady wants to instead of decreasing it she wants to raise the number no no no, no, no. it's already at 15 so like I, yeah i support this but I'm still going to oppose the eventual vote. It, that didn't pass. The president opposes it. We kind of knew that. Oppose. Oppose. Libertarians want us to support. Republicans want us, or they want support. Conservatives obviously want support. Oppose, oppose. And then here is the vote. We are going to oppose. And it passed anyway, which kind of stinks. But I think the president can veto this, if I'm not mistaken. So let's go. Where would that be? No messages. Not sure where that would show up, but I thought that would already have popped in there, but it's okay. So let's go. See, when I do those interviews, it does appear to have a small effect on voter enthusiasm, which is cool. So maybe we'll keep on doing those. Let's go next turn. More primary debates and whatnot. So let's do another one of these here. Yeah, it's affecting public opinion. And that's good. Like, I'm not getting any more name recognition. 
But public opinion, like if we go here, we're getting a net positive at the moment, and it's basically in some pretty, you know, critical areas, which is cool. I wonder if I can do anything like, uh, like if I go to contacts, is there one in here? I don't want, I want organizations. And I want for one for like the military or something. What do we got? <clears throat> Nothing. So it's okay. Not a big deal. I want to cozy up to the military though. I don't know why they don't like me, but I want them to. <laughs> All right. So I don't need to do anything there. Still nothing there. Campaigning. Uh, let's keep doing interviews. Those written ones do a pretty decent job. Surprisingly. Let's go to Butler County this time. We gotta get to areas where we haven't been very well represented in the past. Now we're gonna go to Beaver County. Boom. We're gonna go back to the office. <clears throat> so let's do Ganey. I'm just wondering if there's like see here Titan border security I didn't even do anything we probably need to dismiss some of these that we're not going to be able to see like illegalize recreational drug use I'm not going to do that because no Democrat in their right mind would be pushing for that we got new challenges okay universal health care they want us to push We've got two years to do it. And honestly, like if you see here, if I just write the legislation, I get 133 points. Now, <clears throat> passing it is the big reward, but that's not going to happen in the current environment. So forget that. We'll just let it sit in there for now, but there's not a whole lot we can do there. All right, we're gonna keep doing interviews. Uh, there was nothing here that I needed to do, was there? Nope presidential primary let's do another butler county one it's not a big deal let's go beaver county and nothing in there nothing in there do a written interview and now still nothing there this should be the primary I don't like here again we're running unopposed so we can just skip to the end here uh, what district are we in 17 boom so this could be a tight race here Tony didn't get a single vote as an independent interesting not one vote vote <laughs> nobody not even him he didn't even vote for himself <laughs> oh tony you're just a mess dude <clears throat> but you can see here the numbers that showed up are kind of pointing to the fact that this could be a tight race for the general election <clears throat> so excuse me i need a cough Okay, so in terms of our campaign strategy, now that we're through that part, the primary where we were unopposed, let's go into the general election marketing strategy and go up to 10,000 per week. And we don't need to change anything else, I don't think. But let's keep doing interviews for sure. Wait, 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 wait. Where's my staff? Dang it, I forgot about this. So we we lost a few months worth of like you know, more effective campaigning or whatever. But it's okay. <clears throat> so now when we go here, let's go there's nothing going on as far as our office duties. 
now there are rallies that we need to attend. But you look and see here how much more I am raising now, which is awesome. Tony Fiore is apparently still in the mix here. We are getting attack ads against us. Let's attend rallies and fundraisers, which is good. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and conduct a poll. I want it to be pretty accurate in regards to voter intention. Let's go boom. And it's kind of tight here, 53 to 47. So we do need to keep a close eye on this. Let's go next turn. Let's go through our stuff here as usual. Boom. And now we're going to run another poll. Like we're going to be doing a bunch of polls in this election to make sure we're going to win. So we increased our, our lead there. <clears throat> Defense appropriations. Um, see, I don't know if, if this is an improvement or what. Let's say no. That's the thing. Like, I don't know what this... See, Democrats want to spend less on defense appropriations. I'm opposed to this. I want the military to get funding. Boom. I oppose. And we lost. <laughs> but that's okay. Like, the reality is the optics look good for me within the, the you know, the, the armed forces. Like, hey... I tried to get you another 15 billion in funding and went against the grain to stand up for you. So there you go. All right, <clears throat> so that's done. We're done here, I believe. So let's advance. All right, starting here. Now we have to vote on the, um, wait, what? Another amendment, I'm confused. So he wants to decrease it even farther. Definitely against that. Oppose. Come on, man! <clears throat> well, we tried. And I like that there was a little bit of bipartisan activity going on there. It's kind of interesting. Um... But anyway, okay, so we're done with our office duties. Let's go into the campaign. We got some rallies to attend. How are we doing on time? Doing good. We have some interviews we can do. And let's advance. Do another interview. Go to some more rallies and such. <clears throat> See, our campaign funds are actually increasing slowly but surely i think we started the year at six million thereabouts so that's cool all right we have to go to a committee amendment hearing commerce justice science approval see like i don't like that i can't see where we were versus this number so i've got to say no uh to any amendments all right nothing else i need to do in the office and we're done there let's actually do another poll actually you know what let's do one next week so let's go here, conduct a poll, voter intention, boom. Right where we started at the beginning of the election cycle. So that's good. Let's go to events. Let's do a written one. We're getting more effect on pub a public opinion all of a sudden. And I wonder if it's just because more people start to pay attention the closer you get to um, gen you know, the, the election night or whatevs. Okay, so now we need to vote on this. I don't know if I should... Okay, if it's a Republican um, and they are the one making the proposal, we're going to support it because this is, again, in re regards to military funding. We're going to support this. Boom. Everybody supported it. Everybody. So that might have been a situation where, like, everybody kind of agreed that we need to spend more on the military. And that's what we were going for. But we were trying to find out, like, where's the right number? And there was some, you know, back and forth on that. But anyway. Okay, so 
Look at that, 434 to nothing. Which one was this? Or was that the one that we just did? Anyway, I wanted to see the one that um, was close. It was like the beginning of the year. The amendment made it out of committee. It passed. No, it failed to pass. See, this one passed the Senate, and then the president vetoed it. I can't remember which one that was, but that one I thought would get vetoed, but I don't. I didn't remember seeing it like in the weekly updates or whatever. Okay, so we're still getting campaign attack ads against us, but that's okay. Our public or voter enthusiasm is increasing, and that's good. Um, so we're still in good shape here. Let's just keep moving forward. Watch the campaign status just in case we start to see a drop off here in enthusiasm. But if we keep doing interviews, like let's mix up where we're doing them. We did Butler County, we're doing Beaver County. Let's go here, do a fundraiser, back to the office. Homeland Security appropriations. I'm going to say no. So this is, again, spending money on protecting the U.S. Uh, and this is like Border Patrol for the most part, which is uh, something that we should support, I suppose. We're going to say no. There's probably going to be some back and forth on this one. A new challenge has appeared in our town. Let's dismiss this one for now. I don't think we're going to be able to do this one. Increase deportations we're a democrat democrats would probably be against that so that's a tricky one though it's like why are we deporting people what have they done wrong to deserve deportation if there's a valid case for said deportation sure let's do it okay all right, so we are moving along here. I want to try and get through this year in this episode, and I'm kind of getting down to where we sort of need to start burning st through some stuff. Okay, so Department of Labor, Health. Uh, they are probably wanting to reduce this, if I had to guess. I'm going to say no, and I'll bet you there will be um, some pretty partisan voting going on with that one we have a new challenge abolish medicaid expansion we're probably not going to do that uh campaign what are we doing here let's run a poll just to get a feel for where things still are it's hovering right there there has been very little movement there so i think we're safe to just kind of like ride that out so we're doing okay. Boom. Next turn. Boom. More rallies. More fundraisers. Veterans Affairs Appropriations. So this is for the VA. If it's a Republican's... Why you look so angry, dude? Alright, we're gonna... We're not gonna bother with an amendment. We're probably gonna support that one. Uh, why are those not coming up to a vote, though? Or is that going to happen later, I guess? So, attend. Attend. And... Let's do the Butler County News. <laughs> Alright. More fundraising. More campaign rallies and whatnot. Going back on TV in Allegheny County. Amendment hearing for transportation. I... So this is... This is one that... I might say yes. And try and increase this number. Where are we at? Where are we at? You know what? I don't know... This is not the number. These numbers don't match up with what I thought I was going to see here. So let's just say cancel that. 
we're not gonna do an amendment. Another challenge. Reduce the gas tax. This one might be possible. Let's leave that on there, but let's go ahead and dismiss the Medicaid one. All right, so... See, like, all of these are making it out of committee without a vote or whatever, and I'm wondering if it's like, if nobody proposes any amendments to the legislation, it just goes from committee up to the Senate, and then the Senate votes on it. Maybe that's what's going on there. So a lot of these laws are passing, and then it's up to the president to uh, sign them into law or veto them. And it looks like she's signing a lot of them into law. So maybe these are all good things. I'm not sure, but the fact that nobody is opposing them or putting in legislation to change them or, or amendments, then that's probably a good sign that we should have also followed suit there. So we're still seeing an increase here. We're up to 73%. I think we were at 72 at the beginning of the cycle. Same thing here, we're up one, we're up two with independent uh, voter enthusiasm. And then these numbers continue to go up. So that's good. We're still losing confidence. Why do Republican military members not like me? I'm like voting in favor of a lot of that stuff, man. Come on, man. Uh, no, 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 here's what we want. Attend to rally. I wish you could sort of automate some of these, you know what I mean? But not a big deal. There's a new, well, oh, maybe not. What did I just see? Whatever. So lots of stuff becoming law here, which is, that's a kind of uh, a positive sign that, you know, Republicans hold the House and the Senate and it's a democratic president that is not vetoing things left and right that tells you that like you know they're kind of working together to get stuff done that's a good thing right <clears throat> so we're almost to election whoa 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 what what did i just click on that gave me oh it's a graph for name recognition you can click on these things like political points see i've never clicked on these but man there's so much data to work with in this game but in reality the game like the mechanics are quite simple spend money you're probably going to win if you do it wisely or whatever um so anyway now that'll probably change if we run run for president we're gonna have to really get crazy so, we shall see what happens there. New challenge, reduce gas tax, tighten border security. All right, we'll just let those go. Uh, and then for the campaign, let's do another interview, go to rallies, go to fundraisers. Next. Do it written. Watch the presidential debate. No, thank you. Crime, drug crime, jail length. So this is a floor debate. What is this challenge? Criminal justice reform. Drug addicts should not be criminalized. They should be treated for their addiction. Use your resources to prevent, wait, wait, wait. Consider creating programs to rehabilitate them, such as drug courts and drug rehab programs. So we want to create criminal reform programs. That we might be able to get done, especially considering it's coming up for debate here. Boom, decrease the prison sentence for drug crimes from 5.9 years to three years. I think we should support that. <clears throat> this guy's against it. Now, the reality is like, like if I th just thinking at this, like shouldn't all of that be sort of done on a case-by-case -case basis like if somebody's like a first-time offender um and it was a weird circumstances in which they like had a bunch of drugs in their car or whatever wasn't even there 
drugs and they could prove it or you know like it's just there's so many details that go into that kind of stuff that it's just whatever so obviously our party wants us to support that and then here's the amendment hearing we're going to say no we don't want to vote or create an amendment for this legislation let's just let it go as is and now it's coming up for a vote and we are going to support it and we're going to lose oh we won so there were a lot of republicans jumped on board here so that's good so uh so drug crime you know uh what's it called here no 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 challenges reform that's what i was going for is uh is underway so that's cool uh go to the campaign let's get this stuff done Come on, we gotta get through this year guys let's go to week 41 we'll do another fundraiser here in a second because we want to make sure that we're still in good position to win and there's been virtually no change on that from the beginning of the general election campaign until now and we continue to increase voter enthusiasm which is good we're increasing campaign funds which is good so let's just keep it rolling here boom campaign keep doing these things i think we're good to just zip through all the way to the election there's a debate we're going to go moderate and bipartisan boom see what that does is decreases democratic enthusiasm it didn't really change republicans but it increased independence which is good and then it improved relations with the moderates uh, on both sides of the aisle so that's good continue do this this do wasn't there a uh oh here we go boom douche nothing going on there yeah we'll do that fill out the questionnaire uh no that's not what i want keep doing interviews and rallies and are there any challenges we can work on these shortly, but like I don't want to put too much effort into that until the election is over. And here we go. Well, I don't I don't care about well, I, I kind of do care about pr the presidential election, but like we need to worry about our election. Let's speed it up. Come on, Dwayne Bunker. Get it done, dude. We should start seeing... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on. No! Turn it around. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad, guys. This would be devastating. We need a late surge here. Yes! Go! <laughs> Go! Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. That was a huge bump right there. So we came roaring back late. Those polls were pretty much dead on with the mix here. So 100% is in. We won. And those numbers are very close to what they have predicted. Who won the president? So the Republican won the Oval Office. Okay. In Senate, Republicans held their ground and gained ground in the House. So that is a huge development, guys. Now, where this could benefit us hypothetically, and we'll go ahead and skip the, or get out of here now. We won. That's awesome. Now we are going to, you know, hold our office he was a worthy opponent, yada, yada, yada. We don't need to do anything else with campaigning now, which is cool. Um, but let's go ahead and we've got people retiring. That's okay. Um, 
my speechwriter who I never used. Although I did like maybe pull on them for uh, our interviews or whatever. So. so we're still doing some fundraising, but it's not that important at this point. Thanksgiving Day. Boom. 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 And boom. And now we are going to be on week one of 2033. So, we're starting a new term in the house. We're going to go ahead and kill it here, and we will look at all of this stuff to start the next episode. Um, but the good news is we've got a, a lot of name, name recognition. Huge number here on the approval rating front. And then political points are actually looking pretty good. So, like, if I go into politicians and we go to the federal level and then let's go to the house... Um, I want to look at, like, I want to look at, okay, so I want to see, go here. So the Speaker of the House is Christian Arias. He's got 75,000 political points. We have a third of that. This dude is, how old is he? 69. And we're like 30 something. So... Like the re we're 35. The reality is we've got a great start to our political career. And what I'm kind of hoping happens now is I'm hoping that over the next four years, Democrats surge in the midterms and regain control of House and Senate. And then the presidential election looks like it might be up for grabs. The reality, though, is like it's probably eight years before we can consider, you know, we, we probably want this president to go two terms, give us plenty of time to get into like a higher, uh, more notable position within the House of Representatives um, and then run for president. But we'll see if we've got loads and loads of money. I have no idea what it takes to win the presidency, but we're going to try at some point. So. Again, we'll kind of talk through some of these developments um, and everything t to start the next episode. So if you have not done so already, please be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment below, and we will see y'all next time. Shall I say this afternoon?